Today we're taking a deeper dive in ultra budget friendly mechanical keyboards and this one is $25. Hey guys, welcome back to our Harvest Test channel. My name is Ivan and today we're looking at the XVX H61. This is 60% mechanical keyboard that is ultra compact and is retailing at $25 at Amazon. I wanted to grab this one and see what you can get sub $30 budget. A lot of the keyboards that I reviewed lately are more close to the $100, they're more high end, but I wanted to see if you're in a strict budget in the computer world and you don't wanna spend more than $30 for a keyboard, are you able to get something compelling that's gonna do some good work for you and you're gonna be enjoying it while gaming, doing some office work or maybe traveling or whatever you're uh, trying to do. So we're gonna go right away into the unboxing, see what's inside the box of this XVX. Uh, we're gonna set up the RGB obviously because what is a gaming keyboard these days without the RGB and of course at the end We're gonna talk about it in the conclusion. So what's inside of this super compact box? You see how small the keyboard is uh, Even the box is extremely small. So another company that I've never seen before what we have here right on top is the user manual H61 speaking for the amount of keys you have and this is the combinations here for the different keys and uh, brightnesses and stuff like that we're gonna see in a second keyboard on one side and right on the front over here oh wow, look at that that's a pleasant surprise actually we have tons of new keys we're gonna look at uh, these in a second but what else is out here metal extraction key tool and plastic keycaps extraction tool uh, honestly I prefer to be one unified tool like some of the other ones uh, you guys seen on my channel and other models but uh keeping the price low maybe that's a, an option right here having them both separated um fairly soft cable let me see uh white usb a to usb c four feet long not too long of a cable but at least it's detachable and very soft so you can kind of route this cable around your desk if you want to around your monitor uh small connectors i like that again if you like to have a longer one you can just buy a longer cable or even shorter one and replace it because detachable cables are the best. I'm most likely going to use a different cable here just because of the length. Uh, and then let's look at these caps. What are they giving us? Tons of new caps in their all different colors. So shifts, we have green, we have command. Obviously, if you want to switch the keyboard to Mac, uh, we have opt, again, Mac. Uh, what else? Function, alt different colors control is blue and then some more purple command windows key all these are extra keys and not a lot of companies are giving you that many keys uh, trust me if you've seen any of my videos you know that barely uh, any companies give you any if they give you it will be a couple but the xvx are giving you tons so we have three six nine twelve thirteen extra keys for you to replace on the keyboard speaking of the keyboard let's check it out real quick and look how compact this keyboard is this is for the ultimate uh, space savers <laughs> kind of like myself i have multiple keyboards on my desk three to be precise so i'm lining up all of them next to each other and small keyboards like that actually help me a lot to save the space and this is also very compact and portable for those of you that travel on the road are you going to be spending some time away from your house and you really want comfortable mechanical keyboard this is a great option right on top we have the usb-c because the keyboard is so compact i'm not offended by it normally i like it off to be at the side but this one is so small that's not a problem nothing on any of the sides and right on the bottom we have not raisable uh, sticky rubber feet two in the front two in the back model of the keyboard right here and that's about it so this keyboard very retro looking with a kind of gray and dark gray i really like that that's why i picked it up but if you want to spice it up a little bit with different keys you can just install these and have different colors and it's going to look slightly more fun uh, for those of you that like more colors and kind of more modern i guess because look now it looks much better but if you like the classic look keep those on and stick with them different color combinations of course we're going to hook it up and see the rgb and everything else but uh, i like the keys so far and if i take one of those keys out you'll see we have white switches here um i don't know how to feel about them maybe they're slightly more silent compared to the red ones pretty responsive i have to be honest <laughs> one thing i don't like though is see i'm using this plastic 
uh, key extraction tool that they provided and already left a mark on the side of this uh, N key. So I'm gonna have to clean it up somehow. Otherwise it's kind of permanent with the plastic and I'm not a fan of this, but uh, I guess I can clean it somehow. So just be careful or use another extraction tool or maybe your fingers because this plastic one, not that great. But again, considering the price of this keyboard, this is uh, kind of the trade-off. No wireless here, no Bluetooth here, simple wired mechanical keyboard with RGB that you'll be able to use pretty much everywhere. Uh, game with it, office, whatever you would like. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and hook it up, see how it lights up. So now with one of the studio lights off and the keyboard hooked up to my USB, uh, good news here, you don't need a computer to actually power this, hook it up to any USB and uh, we'll show you the RGB. A uh, couple of things, by default, you can see the effect right here, but to change, because it's not indicated anywhere on the keyboard, you gotta look at the manual and the change is FN and this key right here changes the different modes. I'm gonna cycle through them real quick and you'll see uh, this is a uh, unified color. So if you, one of the things that I really appreciate, unified color and unified color can uh, change as well. Uh, this is the different colors. You'll see, you can cycle through them and then change the effect based on that. Uh, so if I go back here, there are 19 different RGB modes. This one doesn't have all the fancy ones uh, that you guys seen on some other keyboards, but again, considering the price, I think they are doing a pretty good job with the RGB to kind of satisfy the majority of the customers out there. Uh, they love RGB effects and, uh, and obviously if you want to have unified color, you can have that as well to match the internals of your desktop, just like what I do. And uh, let me go through them again, different waves, different blinking styles and breathing effects. Uh, all that is available here. Again, solid color and going through them to kind of showcase what we have. If I go back to the RGB, we can continue with the different effects again here. And this is the default. And then to increase and decrease the brightness over here, we gotta use FN and the parentheses. So now it's off and we have one, two, three, four. Maximum is four. You see the Windows key is blinking, indicating that you reach the maximum. So again, same amount of brightness as majority of the keyboards. To me, it looks great. And uh, being able to have a unified color or turning it off completely is a big plus. Uh, so yeah, that's all great. Let's move on and talk about it in the conclusion. All right, conclusion time. And what do I think about the XVX H61? I have to say, for $25, this keyboard surprised me in so many levels with the quality, with the offering they are giving you, and with the functionality. I mean, look how compact it is. Yes, it's not one of those foldable ones from the Royal Clues on my channel, and you can't really put it in your pocket, but look how small it is. You are still able to fit it pretty much in every backpack and take it on the road while you're gaming or you're spending some time overseas or whatever the situation might be. There also is gonna save you a lot of space on your desk if you have multiple keyboards like myself that you wanna line them up on the same desk uh, and I have to say again $25 you're getting a very nice retro style keyboard and retro of course because of the gray and dark gray combination detachable USB cable uh, nice rubber feet uh, on the bottom 19 different RGB modes also single color available and also turning off all the lights if you don't care about them and again I'm gonna stress enough uh, because uh, $25. Just a few years ago for $25, you can barely get a membrane keyboard. Now you can get a mechanical one with very nice keys with plenty of extra keys supplied with the extraction tool, with detachable cable, all that stuff. Uh, it's also damped. So we have some dampening behind the keys. So they're not, you know, completely hollow, but this is how the keys sound. And this white keys actually kind of reminds me of the red keys. Maybe they're slightly bit more silent but still very tactile, responsive. And yeah, for this kind of money, 100%, I am recommending this one, $25. They're not gonna break the bank and you are gonna have tons of fun with this keyboard, especially if you don't need the numeric pad. And if you have a limited space, maybe you live in a small apartment or you're on the road traveling all the time, this keyboard can do a lot of things for you. And you're gonna be happy with it in the long run. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video, stay tuned to the channel, subscribe if you're new. Check out some of the other videos coming very, very soon. And as always, guys, you have a wonderful day.